Hi. What's up, Choco Olympia Lessons Tribe? It is Choco Olympia of Choco Olympia Lessons, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to start off practicing and improving your splits. I get this question a lot. Now, working on your splits takes a lot of time. You can't force it. You have to go slowly. Patience is a virtue, okay, in life and also in splits and flexibility. But I'm going to break down both sides so that you can see how you should start if you've never started before. Obviously, you want to make sure that you are healthy enough to start this process if you need to see your physician, your doctor, whatever you need to do. This is just a tutorial on how to work on your splits. I am a trained dancer, teacher, personal trainer, and all of that, but I just have to put that out there just to be safe disclaimer. Okay. Hi, we're here now. Okay, so we're gonna come to the floor. Usually we do a warm up. If you're in my class, we'll do a stretch, nice and easy warm up, get the muscles ready to work because you never wanna work out or start working on flexibility with cold muscles. That's a really good way to hurt yourself and a way to kind of backtrack in your progress. Also, you don't wanna to push too far. Pay attention to what your body tells you. The body gives you signs for when you're pushing too far or when you're going too hard. It'll usually hurt or it'll feel like a sharp pain. There will be some discomfort, but you just have to be very aware, okay? So, I'm gonna to turn to my side, side profile, so you can see me. And I usually have people start here in this position. You're also, if it's easier to slide out, socks can help, but until you're all the way down, you're really going to be having to use your upper body to hold you up until you can let yourself sit comfortably into the split. Now, a lot of people will start to rush this because they want to just be able to sit on the ground, but that's just not how it goes. So, hands on either side of your front leg. Start to slide that front leg out. I'm gonna scoot back a little bit. So let's stay in frame. <laughs> okay. Now notice the hips, the pelvis are right over the back knee. My toes are pointed to the back wall and I'm gonna slide this front leg out until I can get all the way down. Now again, <laughs> running into my furniture. If you're not all the way down on the floor, you're gonna hold yourself up with your arms. You want to keep your hips squared to your wall, shoulders as well, so that you're working on facing your full side. I'm facing my left wall, my left leg is in front. I'm trying to get my back leg as straight as possible, and if your leg isn't straight yet, it'll get there. You just have to keep slowly practicing. The entire front of my back leg is on the floor. So I don't wanna open up towards the audience, which is you guys. I wanna keep that back leg facing the floor. My front kneecap is facing the ceiling. My toes are pointing out, and then I wanna hold here. So breathing, trying to relax, even though you are holding the stretch. I recommend holding for at least 15, 30 seconds. If you can hold longer, great, but if you start to compromise the position, then come out of it carefully. So from here, while I keep my shoulders over my hips, if you're all the way down, that's when I advise people to start to fold forward if they want, taking a little combre back with the upper back, but again, always keeping the shoulders and the hips squared facing the wall that you're facing. Slowly, so I'll use my arms again to engage, to come out slowly come out of it and then depending on how that feels you can just take a moment sit maybe take a child's pose if that feels good and then we'll do the other side so we're going to rotate start off in the same starting position so that you can start to train yourself to go right into hips facing the wall so that you're not opening up in the hip 
So both hips, both shoulders facing. I'm gonna take my hands down, slowly start to slide that front foot out. So I wanna keep this leg, front leg, as straight as possible. Slide it out. I'm gonna scoop my back leg back a little bit so I can fit in the frame. And then release down. Now again, if you're not all the way down yet, don't rush that. This is the growing part, right? If we try to rush that, that's where we can potentially pull the hamstrings or the inner thighs and we don't wanna do that. So hands on the floor, engage the upper body and the arms, make sure you're holding yourself up. That whole front of the back leg is facing the floor, toes pointed, front foot pointed, front kneecap facing the ceiling, square the shoulders and hips, breathe, relax. I usually tell people to smile, that helps. <laughs> they just kind of release a little bit of tension if there is any, and again, there shouldn't be sharp pains, but it might be uncomfortable for the first while. Stretch forward if you're all the way down. You can take the combre back. Again, only worry about this if you are all the way down. If you're not all the way down yet, focus first on getting all the way down into your splits. Breathe, one more deep breath, and then slowly start to come out of it. Take your time. Don't rush your splits, but try to practice them if you can, every day, every other day, and don't force yourself to sit too long in it. Because again, you don't want the muscles to start to tighten up. You don't want to sprain anything or pull anything because that will backtrack your progress. Woo, splits! <laughs>